All right. We have five designs in Photoshop, and we want to put them on the phone. We want our client or our boss to see it on a phone. They don't have to be um, like totally interactive when you click on it. Um, you know, have a navigation or anything. They just want to see it on a phone, all five pages. And we can do that with Muse. We're going to make a new document, Control or Command N. Uh, we're going to, these are all 750 pixels wide. So let's do that. Let's click on Advanced Settings right here. And Minimum Width, I'm going to say 750. Minimum height 500, that's fine. Margins, I'm going to write zero, and that's going to go zero across the board right here. You'll see zero, zero, zero. Uh, we want to have centered, that's fine. Sticky footer, don't have to worry about that until we start making websites, so you can leave that there. So click OK. First thing I do is I'll do File, Save Site As. And I want to go to my desktop to find that folder that I'm working in, Smart Tech. And let's name this um, mobile-app.muse. All the files are going to be put into this .muse file. The HTML, the CSS, the JavaScript, all that kind of stuff. So you don't have to worry about that. Click OK. Let's go to the folder and I'll see it now. So inside my folder here, I have a mobile-app.muse. Then I have my 1PNG, 2PNG, 3PNG, 4PNG, 5PNG. And then this is a temporary file that we're working in right now. So I'm going to uh, make my other pages. This is going to be actually called, I'm just going to call this a home. Press the little plus button here. And I'm going to write 2. Press the plus button here. Write 3, 4. Press the button, 5. And that's my 5 pages. So if we go up to, um, if we open up the home page, we can insert our image file place. Let's find the desktop. Smart tech, one.png. Um, this is like uh, InDesign. So if I click and drag here, it'll snap. Let's, do I have snap on view? Smart guides. I don't know if I have the snap on or not. I think I turned it off. Show guides, log guides, smart guides. Let's see if that works. If I do smart guides, there we go. It snapped. So um, I had the view smart guides unmarked because of um, some other websites I was doing. I, I couldn't get to where I wanted, so I wanted to take the snap off. But here we go. It'll snap right, snap right in there. Okay. So. Um, if it's like InDesign where if I were to do a file place, get one PNG and then click and drag, I can make it the size that I want. I can make it smaller if I want, but that's not what I want. I just want to click and that will make it 100% and then throw it right in there. There we go. So that's my first page. And you'll notice on the bottom there's extra and that's because of the sticky footer. We can mess with that later. So I'm going to click open number two. And then file place. PNG. Click. Drag. Snap right in there. Let's open up. Uh, open up number three. File. Place. Number three. Click. Drag up in here. Bam. Let's open up our number four. File. Place. Number four, bam. And then number five, file, place, number five, bam. You'll notice that we have tabs up here. And this is our main tab right here, the mobile.app. This is where our master page is. This is where our, home, our other pages are. If I... Um, Go in here and mess with this master page, it will mess with all the other pages. So that's their master is your template. So you got home. When I click on home, you'll notice that the layers panel opens up. And then I have my 1.png here on number two. I would have my 2.png on number three. I would have my three and so on and so forth. We have other little um, things that go on over here on the side. You have your 
uh, scroll effects and states stuff like that. We don't need that right now. What we need to do is we need to hyperlink from the home page to page two. So this drop down right here, click on the image, click on the drop down, and click on number two, and then click away. So let me click on here. It's number two step. Now let's go to the second one. Click on the image, click on number three, click away, click on the image, make sure it's taken number three. That's good. Let's go to number three, click on the image, click on number four, click away over here, and click back on the image, make sure number four is there. Sometimes it doesn't take the, um, when we click on the drop down and click on the number, it doesn't take it. So just want to make sure it works. Number five. And then on number five, we want to go back to the home page, right? Click on home. There we go. So let's say this command uh, or do file save site. There we go. You can preview this in uh, Muse. Click on the image, it goes to the next one. Click on the image, goes to the next one. Click on the image, goes to the next one. So that's how it would act on your phone. Let's close the preview. Now we can do file preview site in browser. Click on this one, goes to the next one, click on this one, goes to the next one, click on, click it, click it, click it, click it, click it, click it. Keeps going, that's good. Um, is this part of the image? So now, uh, we can close these. We don't need all these tabs open. Now the next part is this, this is the hard part. Since this is 750 pixels wide and we're putting this on a phone, um, this is where it gets really um, tricky in the mobile um, design programming aspect. What I've been doing lately, and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I'm not. I'm. I'm just. Ugh. It's a. It's a. You have to talk to a programmer about this. Page. Go to page. Page properties in the master page. I opened up the master page. This one right here. Go to page. Page properties, and in the metadata area. I want to add this viewport meta name, this meta tag. It says meta name equals quotation marks, viewport quotation marks, space, content equals quotation marks, width equals 600 quotation marks. I'm going to try that. I'm going to see if that works. Uh, you also have your layout here, minimum width 500. I would write 750. Make sure that that's that way. Um, big point. 750 that's good all right click ok see my options metadata is still there layout click ok and let's do a file save site awesome and now i want to upload this i want to publish it click it click on a little button on next to publish don't click on publish because if you click on publish it might do the business catalyst unless you ha um, are paying for uh, I don't know if you're a student or not but if you click on publish and go to P business catalyst that's if you have an Adobe account click on the drop down and FTP host is you're putting it right on your domain um, hosting so you put in your FTP address mine would be webskins.com username webskins and my password is crazy long so let me go get it okay pasted my password clicked on store credentials so you don't have to do all this again Go to your options. If you're in school um, and you're using their um, intranet, then you would do SFTP. But if you're off school grounds, you probably can't get onto the, um, the intranet. So you're going to do FTP. Okay. Click next. All right. And then I got to do webskins.com. I have to go to the public underscore HTML folder because that's this that's the root directory folder most web hostings have forward slash and I'm going to call this smart for smart tech. I'll do smart underscore tech and then click OK and this should upload to my server. The requested folder does not exist. Do you want to create it? Yes, I want to do. Yes, OK. And then you're going to get another one that says uh that does not appear to point to the site webskins.com ignore and it will do it and then you wait for a few seconds it is exporting html css javascript it's exporting everything for you OK, 
Okay, and then it opens up. All right, it's just going to webskins.com forward slash index HTML, but I wanted to take it us to smart underscore text. So you might have to write it into your browser if the browser comes up blank. Click OK. And there's my website. Click on it. Click on it again. So if you're on a phone, you would write in webskins.com forward slash smart underscore tech. And then you'd see you click on each one with your thumb to go to the next design. And this is great for um, showing a client the design on a phone. It's not a website. It's not interactive. It just shows you once you click on an image, it goes to the next image. And it just shows the client what it will look like. And this, my friend, is better than just showing it to them on in Photoshop or on a desktop as an image because now it's it's tangible. It's something that they can see on their phone.